Yeah, so the, the Caveman Bridge was designed by Connie McCullough, who's a famed bridge designer from early in ODOT and o Oregon's history back in the 20s and 30s, designed a lot of the iconic bridges around the state, this being one of them. Um, we'll uh, be working on both the aesthetic appearance of the bridge and also kind of the structural part of the bridge. The rail that we'll be replacing the old existing rail with it will be a little taller, a little stronger than the uh, old rail to, to add safety and strength to the bridge. We're also add, adding some strength to, the, uh, to some of the beams underneath the bridge. The original design was for a lot lighter loads than what we see today on, our, on today's bridges. So we need to strengthen some of the members that, that require that, that strength. Needs. But there are also some of some aesthetic features to this bridge. We'll be recoding it so it looks bright and shiny and new like the day it was open and adding new lights and things to it so it's also, uh, you know, It'll appear better. We're adding some seismic um, items to the bridge. Originally, when they designed the bridge, seismic wasn't as big of a deal as it is today, at least to the engineers of, of, of that time. I met with the city, I met with several of the local businesses uh, to hear their concerns and try to make adjustments uh, to the project and to timing based on those conversations. Due to traffic uh, impacts, we have to do most of our work that's going to require lane closures at night. Um, some of that work is noisy. Uh, we will have, uh, at this time, it looks like about 12 nights of full closure. Those won't be consecutive, um, but at different times to do some of our work. Um, so traffic will need to be detoured around the bridge uh, during that time. And then there will also be single lane closures intermittently throughout the project, at 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So it's going to take about a year and a half to do this project. There's a lot of work that needs to go into it. And also we know that the bridge is valuable to the city and people of the city to get back and forth from home and to work and other spots, plus to get, get to the coast from I-5. And pedestrians from time to time will have to cross the road to use the sidewalk on the other side of where they may have generated from. That's just so we can do that work also. We value the bridge just like the city and the area also value the bridge. Our goal and what we will succeed in doing is return it to its original glory. It'll look a lot like it did on day one Back in 1931, when it was open, 90 years later, or almost 90 years later, it'll be uh, nice and bright and white, just like the original look of it. But it'll be restored to its original glory and something that the city of Grants Pass, the Rogue Valley, and the state of Oregon will be proud of from many years in the future.